Hi again, Mike Gauss here. This is guest day workout. Now we're going to do the strength portion. Hopefully you did the foam rolling warm up and you did the five minute movement prep warm up. Now we're going to do the strength. It can take you anywhere from five minutes to 20 minutes. All you need is your mat and your towel. The inspiration for this came from my wife after our first child was born. She needed something quick that she could do during naps and naps with an infant are um, unknown how long they might last. So I wrote her a five minute workout and if she had 10 minutes, she'd do it twice. If she had 15 minutes, she'd do it three times. If she had 20 minutes, she'd do it four times, etc. And I wrote it in a way that it did a lot of self care. It did a lot of the, it addressed a lot of the areas that you would need uh, when you're sitting a lot and your body is kind of um, losing its, its youth. In it. So that's the inspiration for this. It's a five minute workout that if you've got 10 minutes, you do twice, 15, you do three times, 20, you do four times. It's reps based, so you're just gonna do the reps and then move to the next exercise. First one, lateral squats. So get in a wide stance. You're gonna sit to one side, reach forward. We're gonna do it eight times. Now you want your feet to point forward. You want your weight on your heels. You want your head pushed back. You're reaching forward as a counterbalance. Sit to the other side. So this is a lateral lunge, a lateral squat in the frontal plank. You should feel a strong pull in the side leg. Now, I'm gonna do four rounds today. Each round, I'm gonna add a rep. So you can, or excuse me, I'm gonna add a level. So you can choose a higher level each time if you do the, the additional time. Second exercise, the bridge. Now, if you have your towel, we're gonna to use it as a prop. Put it between your knees. Feet narrow, chins tucked, ribs down, butts tucked. Bridge, one, two, touch down. Bridge, two, two, touch down. All you're trying to do is compress it. Now, normally in boot camp if we did this, or with personal training if we did this, we would pinch a medicine ball or a foam roller. If you don't have one of those, that's what the towel is for. What it does is it helps to activate your inner thighs. So you're getting a hip stretch, you're getting a glute squeeze, and you're getting your inner thigh working. We're going to do 20 reps. We'll call that 15. Okay. Third exercise. This is the full body movement. We're going to do a good morning. Feet are shoulders width apart, heads pushed back. You're going to hinge, stand tall. Don't lean back. Don't let your elbows come forward. Don't pull on your head. Don't round your back when you go down. Push your hips back, hips forward, hips back, hips forward. We're going to do 15. You should felt a lot of stretching on the back side. You should felt your hamstrings, your glutes. It should feel good. One, two, three, four, side plank. Okay, we're gonna go back to that bent knee. Okay, you're still holding 25 seconds, but now you're gonna straighten the top leg, lift it, and hold. Okay, so 25 seconds holding this position. 
we'll say that was five. And down. So again, we're working on lumbar stability. This is helping to strengthen the glute medius, the side of the butt, your obliques, the love handle area, and little muscles in your back called the quadratus lumborum and multifidus. So if you had some weird soreness in your low back tomorrow, it should be good soreness. And it's those two muscles, the quadratus lumborum and the multifidus. They run parallel to the spine and they're lateral stabilizers. So if this is your first time ever doing a side plank, this is soreness that you're not used to. The last exercise, plank to push up. High plank position, don't sag your head, push it away, don't sink your shoulders. Press away. Go to a low plank. Elbows under your shoulders, arms in a W, so don't be in an A. Rotate out to a W. Back to a high plank. Put your hand under your shoulder, put your other hand under your shoulder. That's one. Low plank, high plank. It's very important that you put your hand under your shoulder. Because that's how you're going to get stronger. Okay, that's one round. So if all you had was, you know, five minutes to do strength, boom, done. Now if you can do five more minutes, I'm going to show you the level twos. So we're going to go for a round two. Stand up. Okay, now if you're thirsty, if you need to stop, take a break, you can do it. Now you're gonna step, step, reach together eight times. Instead of a lateral squat, this is a lateral lunge. You're moving in the front of the plane. Okay, step into the other side. Third exercise. Back to the bridges. Now, Try the levels. If they don't feel good or you don't like them, don't do them. Go back to the basic ones. Go back to the first level or even do the exercise from the warm up. Okay, bridge. Feet, shoulders parallel. No, nope, feet together. Chin tucked. Bridge. Alternating knee extensions. You're going to do 10 per side. This works on rotary stability, lumbar stability, hip mobility, third exercise. We did the deep squat and the warm up. The first round is a good morning. The second round is going to be a squat. Hands behind your head, feet shoulders width apart. Pull yourself down, stand up, squeeze your butt. We're going to do 15. Face and forward. Feet pushed out. 
knees pushed open. Heads push back, elbows wide. You're pulling yourself down. One, two, three, side plank. Okay, I call this a level two side plank. Elbows under your shoulders, feet are stacked. You're gonna bridge and hold 25 Mississippis. The longer legs, the straight legs, gives you a longer fulcrum arm, which makes it more challenging to hold, more weight to hold up. sagging or is it up? Are you holding it? You want to be in the neutral position as if you were standing. Okay. The last exercise push-ups. Now, if you can do push-ups, great. If they're challenging, do as many as you can, then go to the plank to push-up. We're going to do a regular push-up, but it's going to be a tempo push-up. Three count down, one count hold, one count up, right back down. Ready? Feet outside the chest, feet, excuse me, hands outside the chest, feet together, down, two, three, hold, up, one, down, two, three, hold, up, two, down, two, three, hold, up, three, down, two, three, hold, up, four, down, two, three, hold, up, five, down, two, three, hold, up, six, down, two, three, hold, up, seven, down, two, three, hold, up, eight. Down, two, three, hold, up, nine. Down, two, three, hold, up, 10. Okay, so that's two rounds. If you only had 10 minutes, you stop there. If you got 15 minutes, let's keep going. This is our third round. I'm gonna show you a third level. If the third level doesn't work for you, do one of the previous two levels. Again, we're going to do eight reps. Here we go. The lateral lunge. You're going to reach to an overhead lift. Step, reach, lift, step together. Step, reach, lift, step together. This activates your upper back. So you're still getting the counterbalance of reaching forward. But now you're switching on your upper back. Thank you. Step into the other side. Step, reach, lift, together. Keep your head pushed back. Don't let your head sag. Keep your ribs pulled down. Don't come out of your stance when you pull your arms up. So stay low as you pull. One, two. Second one. Bridges. Chin's tucked, feet narrow, ribs down, butt's tucked. Bridge, 
March. March. 10 per side, 20 total. Hold long enough to stop all motion. So don't use momentum. Stop momentum. Stabilize. Okay, it's the third exercise. Fourth exercise. Arms overhead squat. 15 reps. Fourth exercise. Okay. Side plank with hip adduction. Hip abduction, excuse me. Elbow on your shoulder. You're gonna put your hand on your hip. You're gonna lift your top leg and hold for 25 Mississippi's. This is gonna be a challenge for me. Pretty sure I can do it, but it's gonna be a challenge. Ready? Okay, based on Mississippi's, set under your breath, I hit the quota. All right, legs straight, elbow under your shoulder, you're bridging, actually the hand on your hip. Ready, set. Okay, that's both sides. Now, the fifth exercise, the push-ups. It's a regular push-up plus a scapular push-up, which means at the end, push away from the floor. Okay, so your shoulders round forward. We're gonna do a tempo push-up again, just on that last one you're coming up. Instead of stopping here, all the way. My feet together. Hands outside the shoulders. Down, two, three, hold, up, one. Down, two, three, hold, up, two. Down, two, three, hold, up, three. Down, two, three, hold, up, four. Down, two, three, hold, up, five. Down, two, Three, hold, up, six, down, two, three, hold, up, seven, down, two, three, hold, up, eight, down, two, three, hold, up, nine, down, two, three, hold, up, ten. Okay, that's three rounds, that's 15 minutes. This is the last round. Level fours, fourth round. Again, you choose the best level for you. Go from there. All right, lateral lunge, alternating lateral lunge to an overhead reach. 16, eight per side. 
Ready? Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. Sixteen. Okay. Now, the fourth level of the bridge is going to be a one leg bridge. So, you're going to hug your right knee to your chest, left foot's flat, ribs down. One, two, touch down. Two, two, touch down. Three, two, touch down. Four, two, touch down. This is gonna work on lengthening your iliopsoas, which is a hip flexor. We're gonna do 10 per side. Push your heel into the ground. Feel your hamstrings. Feel your glute. Second exercise. Okay. Third exercise. Squat to a reach to an overhead lift. Okay, that's the third exercise. Side plank. Fourth exercise. Level four. Your top leg's gonna be straight. Your bottom leg's gonna be in a high knee. It's gonna put a lot of stress on your inner thigh. Elbows under your shoulder, he's under your hand is on your hip, heads pushed back. Ready? Breathe normal, as normal as normal can be. Hand on your hip, high knee position, 
Hips push forward, heads push back. Ready, set. Okay, last exercise, yoga push-up, or push-up to downward dog. So you're gonna do a full scapular push-up, and then press all the way to a downward dog. If you don't know what that is, watch me do the first, and then just join in. We're gonna do 10 reps. There's no tempo on this, just do it well. Don't rush it, don't go slow, just do it well. Feet together. Regular push-up, scapular push-up, downward dot. One. Two. Okay, that was the guest day full strength workout. Four rounds, roughly 20 minutes. Good for you for joining us. The next video on the playlist is the cool down stretch. Please do it to allow your body to calm down, lengthen your tissue, kind of get on top of the mountain and look down at your life where things look small and no big deal. Thank you.